Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Huh? Let's go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Y'all already know it's your man. Super bad. The kingdom kid. I want to let you know when you're at your weakest, the Lord is at his strongest. Let's go. <laughs> But real talk, he is though. <laughs> Zephaniah chapter 3, uh, 16 and 17 says, It will be saying that day in Jerusalem, Do not fear and let your hands be weak. For the Lord your God in your midst, the mighty one, is to save, who rejoices over you in gladness, who quiets you in his love, who rejoice over you in singing. And it talks about, if you keep reading, it talks about that how the Lord is going to deal with those who afflicted you. That he's going to save the lame and bring back all those who were driven out and appoint them to praise and fame in every land that they were put to shame. And you can read that for yourself. Zephaniah chapter 3 verses 16 through 19. I'm not making this up. So, so anywhere you got embarrassed, um, you made a fool of yourself, wherever, wherever that happened at, God's going, God is going to cause you to be favored in that same position, right where you was at. And you made a fool of yourself or you fell short or, or you just embarrassed yourself or you got embarrassed. The Lord said he's going to appoint those that were driven out and bring them back and appoint them praise and fame in every land they were put to shame. So God's going to turn your shame into fame. In the name <laughs> of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And of course, it's not for our glory, but it's for God's glory, man. But I just want to encourage you. Look, 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 look. It was never meant for you to do this on your own. All right. It was meant for you to lean on Christ. All right. So it's, it's, it's not a thing of feeling bad, oh, because I'm weak. No, okay, that's why you go to the Lord for strength. The Lord is your strength. He's the mighty one in your midst to save you. Stop going to the world that only gives you toleration. Start seeking the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who's your celebration. Who's happy for you when you, when, when you come into his presence. Who has great things in store for you, man? Why this world got you feeling worthless and purposeless? The Lord got worth for you. The Lord got purpose for you. The Lord got a plan for you. The Lord got a calling for you. The Lord got a destiny for you. So just remember, man, even when you at your weakest, the Lord is at his strongest. See the Lord, man. He's everlasting in strength. You feel me? <laughs> But I love y'all, man. Shalom, shalom. Peace be unto you.